Hello once again everyone, it is Jello here and today I will be giving you some tips before you go out and buy your own gaming PC. When I started creating content, I've always had beginners in mind. Meaning those who are just starting out in PC gaming and building, such as gamers who are not really tech savvy, or console gamers who also want to own a gaming PC, or just anyone who wants to get into PC gaming but don't really know where to start. And if that's you, here are tips to help you get started. I will try to keep it short and as simple to understand as possible. So again, this is just my personal advice. Feel free to ask others as well. So first is to determine the games that you will be playing the most, because the games that you will be playing the most will dictate what kind of gaming PC that is suited for you. It would not make much sense if you're going to buy high-end parts if you'll only be playing Roblox or League of Legends, which is a complete waste of money. Also knowing the games that you will be playing the most will also determine how much money you will most likely be spending. So how much should you be spending? To me, gaming PCs have three main categories which are entry-level, mid-range, and high-end. Entry-level gaming PCs cost about 20,000 pesos or $400 brand new. If you'll only be playing less demanding games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Dota 2, Fortnite, CSGO, and even Overwatch, then this should be sufficient for your needs. If you want to play more demanding titles like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Witcher 3, and other AAA games, then you might want to move up the ladder with a mid-range gaming PC. For a high-end gaming PC, you would obviously be spending more. In the PC Master Race, you kind of get what you pay for. You can spend lesser money by looking at the used market, which offers really great value for your money. But if you're just starting out, you might not be very comfortable with buying used. There's a ton of build guides on YouTube and PCPartPicker.com with almost all price points. So if you have a budget in mind, let's say $600 for a gaming PC, Look it up and see how far your budget will take you. This would also give you an idea on how it performs and then you can decide if that kind of performance works for you. If you're not confident enough, you can ask help from the gaming community. However, make sure you ask the right questions. Like for example, Hey guys, I need help in building a gaming PC. I have about $600 to spend, including the monitor, and I can't go over that. The games I will be playing are blank and I appreciate all your suggestions. Simple as that. If you've already decided which parts to get, you can either order them online and have it shipped to your doorstep or go to a retail store. For me, going to a retail store is a lot more fun. And if you decide to go to a retail store, don't ask them to build it for you. Build it yourself. You will definitely learn something and that is the beauty of PC building. In my opinion, no one should know your PC better than you do. Before I forget, always prioritize performance over aesthetics. RGB will not let your PC run faster. Remember, performance over aesthetics. One last advice before we end this video, and this may not be a very popular advice, and I'm not telling you how to spend your money, but don't spend money that you don't have yet. What do I mean by that? Don't buy on credit. Generally, gaming hardware decreases in value over time. So a gaming PC may not be a very practical investment unless you're making money out of it. But if you're not, then only buy what you can afford now. If you can't get the hardware that you want yet, then wait and save up for that hardware. All right guys, so I promise to keep this short, so I'm going to end here. So if you think that I've missed something, which I may probably have, uh, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you know what to do. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you won't miss any updates. And that is it for today and I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.